Hi everyone and welcome back to Roll the Credits. My name is Hannah and this is a channel for everyone who loves film, TV and pop culture. Considering I talk a lot about film and TV, I thought why not tell you my top 10 favourite films of all time. I think this is just a really good way of introducing my taste in film and maybe give you a little bit of insight why I have certain opinions about certain films. Make sure to check out my other videos as well and hit that subscribe button down below if you do enjoy these videos. I don't have a lot more to say so just let's get into the top 10 favourite films of all time. These are in no particular order but I will let you know which one is my all time favourite film. So yeah, let's go. Probably one of the best rom-coms to ever have existed is Crazy Stupid Love. The reason why Crazy Stupid Love is on this list is because the twist in the end was one that I've never seen coming. Like that is one of the twists that just like blew my mind. It just all ties in so damn well at the end of the film and it is just one of the most hilarious films. It's also got some of the most incredible actors. We're talking Kevin Bacon, Julian Moore, Steve Carell, Ryan Gosling, Emma Stone. It is incredible and it is also really really funny and has some freaking iconic lines so yeah if you haven't watched crazy stupid love go watch it probably one of the most stunning space films i've ever seen and obviously it has mastermind christopher nolan behind it interstellar just absolutely blew me away when i watched it in the cinema the really loud organ soundtrack just absolutely stunned me. The cinematography and the detailing of everything was just amazing and I love how even though it's such a ginormous story it focuses on the characters of Matthew McConaughey and Jessica Chastain. It doesn't expand into a gazillion different characters it's just about the connection of father and daughter and I just absolutely love it. It is stunning. It is a very long film but I have watched it a couple of times and I'm constantly blown away by watching it. Make sure you watch it in high quality and also on a big screen because it's definitely worth it. I love Tom Hanks. He is definitely my favourite male actor and he deserves to have way more Oscar nominees and wins that he does. One of my favourite films of his is Cast Away. I made a blog post about my favourite films a couple of months ago, maybe a year ago now, and Cast Away was on it and it's just Tom Hanks and a volleyball. I'm talking genius performance, amazing directing and it's just such a stunning film. I absolutely love it. There's going to be a lot of Julia Moore on this list and the next one has her as well as one of the mothers in The Kids Are All Right. I don't know if you've heard about this but it was Oscar nominated in, in 2009 or 2010 and it stars Julia Moore and Annette Bening as well as Mark Ruffalo and it is essentially about Annette Benny and Julia Moore's characters are married and they have two kids that they conceived through sperm donation and the kids want to find out who the dad is and it is just such a funny film and it is heartbreaking film and essentially it's just about family and oh I love it so much I have watched it way too little but it is still one of my favourite films. It's stuck with me ever since I watched it the first time. Number five is a film that you've probably never heard of and that I have watched too many times. It actually gets embarrassing. I once actually watched it twice on the flight home from Chicago and it is the film Goats. Now this is a film starring David Duchovny and it's also got Vera Farmiga in it and it is hilarious. So David Duchovny plays a man that goes by the name Goatman. He is this really weird hippie dude and he has a lot of goats and it is a hilarious film. It is actually a stunning film for being such an independent really odd film and there's a lot of goats. It's hilarious and it's so good and I kind of want to go watch it now. Actors. The reason I got into film and TV is because I watched a lot of Grey's Anatomy when I was like 13 and I absolutely had a humongous crush on Patrick Dempsey when I was 15. Like it was an embarrassing crush. He was in probably one of the best Disney films of all time, Enchanted. I'm not a big fan of Disney animated films which is why I'm so happy that Enchanted isn't animated but it is stunning. Amy Adams is one of the most underrated actresses of our time and she deserves more and she is absolutely fantastic in Enchanted. 
So I don't really know what else to say. Enchanted is fantastic and you should go watch it. Here we go, the seventh film on this list and it is my all-time favourite film. It is never going to be pushed down off its pedestal as number one and it is Tom Ford's directorial debut, A Single Man. Colin Firth, Julian Moore, Nicholas Holt in this beautiful and amazingly cinematog- cin cinema cinematog- the imagery of this film is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. People, a lot of critics say it's too obvious, but I just feel that it's not in your face obvious in the way that it uses camera techniques and colouring to move the story along. It is the most heartbreaking film you will ever see, but it also shows that every interaction that you have with people will affect them, so be kind and smile. A Single Man will never not be my top number one favourite film. We're going back to Tom Hanks and also one of my favourite directors of all time, Steven Spielberg. Can he do anything wrong? This man is a genius. Even though he makes like the most basic films, he is fantastic. He is just spectacular at everything he does and together they form the best team. They need to work more together because I really miss their collaboration. But Saving Private Ryan is 100% on my top 10 films of all time. Steven Spielberg, Tom Hanks, World War II, and an incredible film. I love it. And it's one of those films I haven't watched in a really long time, but it's never not gonna be my top 10 film. We're saving one of the best films to last, and I was, compiling this list and I was like there is one film and I can't think about which film it is that is so incredible so I just googled best rom-coms because I knew it was a rom-com and I just couldn't figure out the title of it I just, I was like I just couldn't figure out which one it was I knew the mood I have when I watch it and then it came up The Proposal I mean The Proposal is fucking genius it's got Sandra Bullock and Ryan Reynolds and it is hilarious and nothing beats the scene when the eagle comes and steals her phone and then she's like, take the fucking dog instead. It is hilarious and I love it. And it is, again, one of those films that you'll just never tire of watching. And that is the type of films that I always have on my top 10 list of favorite anything is things that I will never tire of watching or listening to or reading. So yeah, those were my top 10 films of all time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you agree with any of the films that I put on my list and also let me know your top five favorite films. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure that you subscribe and also give this video a thumbs up. That is all for this week. We will see you again next time with a new video. Until then, roll the credits.